Hi, I'm Daniel from Spot, and in this video, I'll take you through how you can use Spot if you want to raise an issue to your people and culture team and how anonymous reporting works. You can use Spot to surface anything that doesn't feel right at work. Your HR folks can then look into those issues and resolve them. It's better to do this sooner rather than later, before things escalate or become patterns. We've designed Spot to be as safe and as easy as possible, and your organization is taking active steps to build a healthy culture. So this shouldn't be a stressful experience. Keep in mind that your organization can customize Spot for their needs. Whenever things may look different for you, I'll point them out. To access Spot's incident reporting, use your organization's special link. In my case, I work at Daniels Mega Inc., so I go to talktospot.com forward slash Daniels Mega Inc. If you're not sure what your link is, look out for Spot posters in your office, search for Spot in your emails, handbook, code of conduct, online communication system or intranet, or ask your people and culture team. If your organization has Spot integrated with Slack, you can simply type forward slash Spot anywhere in Slack to call up your special link. For privacy, type it in a DM to yourself. Alternatively, you can also go to talktospot.com forward slash find to look up your organization. On the landing page, you'll see your organization's logo and find frequently asked questions to understand how Spot works. For instance, you can read up on how to stay anonymous or when you can expect to hear back if you submit a report. At Daniels Mega Inc., you can expect to hear back within three days, but this may be different at your organization. Take some time to explore the questions that are of interest to you. We want you to feel absolutely comfortable and safe before you start using Spot. If there are questions that you don't find answers to, you can always reach out and talk to someone from the Spot team at hello at talktospot.com. Your organization may also include a link to your code of conduct, harassment policy or handbook. Once you're clear on the process, you could click raise an issue to start the interview. We call this an interview because Spot will walk you through documenting your issue by asking you a series of questions. The number of interviews you see and their names and descriptions depend a little bit on your organization. All interviews work in basically the same way. Make sure to read the description of the interview before you start. You may have other options such as give quick feedback or surface COVID concerns. For the purposes of this training video, I'll take you through a longer interview that asks a range of questions. The first thing that happens in the interview is that Spot introduces itself and makes sure you understand that it's a computer, not a human. Nothing will be submitted to your organization until you're ready and you'll have a chance to edit your initial responses at the end of the interview. You can always skip questions too. Let's say you're ready and you want to discuss a single incident. You may want to stay anonymous, at least for now. Spot always allows you to skip questions if you think they would compromise anonymity. Let me actually select the other option here, just to show you what happens if you do not want to stay fully anonymous or not anonymous at all, because there are some options that may be of interest to you. You could, for instance, say who you are, but make clear that you don't want to be contacted about this issue, or only be contacted through Spot and not be asked in person about this. You can specify all your preferences right here and reveal as much or as little as is comfortable at this point. Next, select a category for your issue. Let's say this is about unfair treatment. The categories may be different at your organization or you may not be asked about this at all. You may also be asked about your office location and be presented with a drop down. Spot then asks you when your incident happened. Let's say Friday 9 a.m. Then it asks where it happened, let's say in the office cafeteria, and who was involved. Let's say my manager Joe, and he caused the incident. Identifying the people who were involved is always optional. You then have the chance to write down everything you can remember about what happened. Let's say my manager had a one-on-one -on -one scheduled with me, but didn't give me much time and started chatting with another colleague instead. He does this all the time, making me feel that I'm not important or valued. Let's say you think this is harassment or discrimination, but choose to skip the next question as you don't want to give more details. You could, if you choose, specify characteristics such as race, gender, ethnicity, 
or other things that you believe may be related to this treatment. Next, Spot asks you how this impacted you emotionally. Let's say, I should probably have a discussion with my manager about this, but I'm really scared. I don't want to deal with backlash. I wish managers would take their one-on-ones more seriously, listen to their direct reports, and spend time on our professional development. Spot then asked me to select an emotion. Let's say I felt scared. And again, depending on what your organization needs in this interview, you may not be asked about the topic of harassment and discrimination and its impact at all. You then ask how you think this could be addressed, and this is your opportunity to give actionable feedback or concrete suggestions if you like. Let's suggest here more manager training and clearer expectations of manager responsibilities. As for uploading any related files, you can always add screenshots, images and other files to report. As a last step, you title the report Unfair Treatment by Manager. Now it's time to review and edit your responses. Spot wants to make sure that you're in control of your documentation. You can add, edit or delete any of your initial responses here. Keep in mind, at this point, no one has seen anything you've said to Spot and no one will see any of your responses until you actually submit your report. Once you're done with your review, hit save and continue and then enter your email. It's important to note that this email address will only be accessible to Spot. No one at your organization will see it. Spot uses this email address to act as a go-between delivering messages from your organization, sending follow-up interview questions and updating you when your report status changes. If you feel uncomfortable giving your work email here, you can also use a private email address or create an email address just for the purposes of this Spot report. We'd ask you to monitor that email account or forward all emails automatically to an email account you regularly check. For instance, Google Mail allows you to do so easily. This is your report management screen. On this screen, you can submit your report if you feel that you're ready to do so. You can also sleep on it and submit it when you're ready. There's no time pressure here at all. You can always add new incidents to an existing report, whether it's been submitted or not. This is a good way to track patterns of behavior, particularly if you're not yet sure whether they're a big deal. And finally, if a report has been submitted and closed, you can add a new incident to reopen the report. I'll now submit the report so you can see how this works. Some organizations allow you to deselect certain admins from seeing your report. If you don't have that option available, your report will go to the designated spot admin or team of admins at your organization. If you're unclear on who receives a report, you can ask your HR people team or ask the spot team. Simply email us at hello at talktospot.com. We keep everything confidential. Once your report is sent, the admin or group of admins at your organization will get a notification alerting them that they've received a new report. Depending on what your organization committed to, you'll shortly hear back with a confirmation email and perhaps follow up questions. Admins can also send you longer messages that we pass on via email. Again, if you choose to stay anonymous, Spot passes on questions and messages from your organization. Please rest assured that you will always get a reply. Should it ever occur that you don't get a timely response, reach out to us at hello at talktospot.com. Again, we'll keep all of your details confidential. If your admin has follow-up questions, they can send another Spot interview or an email that you can respond to via Spot. At no point is it required that you reveal your identity. Whatever your organization asks of you, be assured that it is up to you how much you share. Spot is here to make it easier and safer for you to speak up about things at work, especially if they don't feel right. If you have any concerns or questions about Spot, please don't hesitate to be in touch with us. To talk to us or to ask any questions about Spot, please reach out at hello at talktospot.com. We're here for you. Thank you for your time.